Hey guys, uh, Tyler Chuke here. Uh, first thing in the morning, I, I woke up to a bunch of pings, um, and I knew what that meant immediately. <laughs> and then I saw, I think Azzy had hit me up saying, uh, yeah, clearly there's no rhyme or reason to the pattern. So I, like I said, I knew exactly what that meant. Uh, so it's going to be our boy Dragonov here. Of course, this is first impression, and then I'll do the short form breakdown, long form breakdown later, but, um, Interesting that they released Dragon Off this early, and then, yeah, I was going to work on a video, uh, but the, from just like backlogging in general, it's like, oh my god, it's too much stuff. Uh, but I'll probably still release the Dragon Off video. Um, but yeah, we'll see how close I was to my initial prediction. So again, this is just first reaction, and then uh, just give thoughts immediately right away. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Dragon off the oldest 27 year old on the planet. Okay, running two, heat engager, no surprise. Oh wow, Dragon off has a low. Look at it, like staggers. Oh, so is, I wonder if that's like a, a Miguel back of down back or back down forward forward, which would mean it's also launch punishable, but does it have homing property on it? No, it doesn't. Just a big, big boy low. Okay, obviously the first time we've seen the animation. Okay. Q1 entrance. Oh, nice. I had predicted that too. So we have like a 2-1 into CD, very similar to like a misstep. I, I figured they're going to do something like that. And then he has the uh, QCF4 out of stance being armored. So I was wondering about that because QCF4 in Tekken 7 is minus 10. And I, I've always wondered why they've done that. So, you know, I'll give a shout out to my... Uh, Fixing Dragon on video, I guess. Top right corner. Okay, down two. Oh, interesting. The health of animation was that. I gotta watch that shit on slow-mo. So, obviously down two. Presumably still plus zero. Yeah, it looks plus zero. There. They're still recovering spam speed. Okay, so like a new back one animation of FC. So thank God he actually has some new mix-up. Running, running, like, a knee out of... Grounded. Almost like a like a Captain Falcon. Ah, okay. And see the entrance. So actually one of the things I predicted was that C D three would be a counter launcher and it's not. So that's a little bit a little bit disappointing, but you know what can you do? But yeah, clearly counter him. Let's go ahead and jump forwards full speed. Okay, wall stand two. Ah, okay, yeah, I was wondering, in one of the pictures that they had shown off, like, a few months ago, 4-3 was a brand new move, and we probably will still see 4-3, but I was wondering what they're going to do about it. And yeah, now it's big 4-4-3, four, four, a big, like, kind of similar animation with the 4-3 on it. So yeah, ah, oh, man. Does that mean, like, 4-3 by itself is also now going to be an instant tornado spin? Unfortunate. Ah. Whoa. Oh, so this is interesting. So, in case you don't know, every time you have a uh, a holding option, it causes this... I call it a stand spin, which is not accurate. But to the best of my knowledge, the homing property would only be off of highs. So this is the first time I've seen the uh, mid version, down port 3 with Dragonov as a mid, causing the stand spin. So weird. Okay, into 3-1-4. Okay, interesting. Back four, two into CD2. I don't know how fat, good that is. And obviously here, running four is uh, an airborne throw, which is what it should have been all along. I, it's another thing. The same thing I talked about, the character Go from Virtua Fighter has always had a running four into an airborne throw. So thank God he finally has one now. Like you have this character who requires a lot of skill. Why would you not have a high skill move in the character? Okay, tornado spin, full splat. Ooh, down three, two, new string. So obviously be high option into one plus two. Lizard hammer overhead, weird. Okay, so yeah, Victor is the leader of the Raven clan. Dragon has been like a long time enemy of them. Okay, down back three. Do they finally have homing property on down back three? Who designs this? Come on, guys. How, how do you, uh, like, I don't understand how you have a snake edge, and he's like the only character without a freaking homing snake edge. What? 
No, now granted, Demic Three like fully tracks almost, but there's like a big dead zone in it. I can't remember which way you sidestep, but it tracks like 270, but it doesn't track 360 like the other ones. Okay, so QCF4 has a power crush property out right away, no surprise. So we had seen that earlier. Or one stand two. Oh, okay, so one plus two is his uh, heat burst. That means he still has one plus two. Okay, four for four, three still works. Four rooms two. Breaking in. Obviously, this new stage two into big four four three. Ooh. Hmm. Minus fifteen on whatever that move of Victor's was. Oh, running two is a canned animation. Oh no. Okay, how much damage? So twenty one. Twenty one at the end too, and it's. Presumably unscaled 21. Okay, I mean, so that's doing what, like 50 damage? 50 to 60 damage? Okay. I, I don't I don't like it, but I don't hate it, I suppose. Was that counter hit, though, is the other question? No, it's, that's that's his heat burst. Okay, I'm an idiot. So that was, that was, that actually was canned. 4-3, okay, force 50-50. Um, in case you guys don't know, um, Rapplers, when they're in heat mode, their throws are inescapable. So presumably Dragonov with the same property. If he's under heat, counter it 4-3 into, uh, into crouch throw would be inescapable. So that would do a fuck ton of unscaled damage. So 4-3 I think does like 37, 38 or something like that. And then crouch throws do an unscaled 35. So you'd be dealing just a titch below like, you know, 80 to 70 damage. I don't know. Sorry, it's really early. I'm not going to do the math right now. Okay, and there you go. There's the evidence, too. So crouch throws lead you to heat when you're a grappler. So that means, yes, his crouch throw would be inescapable, too. Okay, wall stand one. The blue spark tackle would presumably mean you can't escape it. So that means that's a forced 50-50-50, a.k.a. 33%. Into a one throw. Okay, big overhead. What, what animation? That was like 4-3 animation. Okay, so he just has a big overhead boot. I mean, I'll take that. Dash cancel, 4-4, four, four. wall stand 1, interesting blue spark on the, f the new 4 attack. I just have a blue spark. CD2, okay, we knew that was going to be a tornado spin. So that means 4-3 CD2 structures will work out the wall now. Okay, 4-3 and shoulder tackle now causing low knockdown, so you can't use it mid-combo. Oh, running 2, there we go. Wait, let's rewind that one more time. So, obviously, counter hit. Okay, weird. Hmm. But they didn't have the heat, the heat, the heat feature on it, did it? No, it didn't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that, uh, this will be for later. But that didn't have the heat gauger spark on it, but it did earlier, didn't it? Okay, he's in there, hits him to the ground. Old winner's coming here for Victor. Into just like a, a sideways the one plus two blizzard hammer instead. Okay, not the best rage art, but whatever, that's cool. Okay, yeah, this normally I would do these for um, members only, and so I do appreciate you guys as members, but uh, for this one I'll probably do it big. <laughs> I'll release it for real. So, okay, uh, I'll see you guys in the short form breakdown, and I'll see you guys finally in the long form breakdown later on.